Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about or go over an example for how to calculate the ignition time of a, of a material using the thermal response parameter and the critical heat flux that come from the cone calorimeter and the fire propagation apparatus. So you run experiments in there and they can calculate these two parameters. There is a list of various materials in table 3-4.2 of the SFP handbook, 4th edition. This is in uh, section 3, chapter 4. We're also going to use equation 2, which I'll give out in a second. So we are going to look at red oak. We're going to say calculate the ignition, ignition time of red oak using these two parameters. So this is its critical heat flux. So we're going to use equation 2. We're going to say, okay, um, well, let's say we have red oak. And so we see our critical heat flux. We look it up and the table is equal to 10 kilowatts per meter squared. And we look at our thermal response parameter. And that's equal to 134 kilowatts second to the one half over meters squared. Units are important. I like to write them down. So if we look at equation 2, we can say uh, equation 2 of section 3, chapter 4, we see 1 over T ignition, the square root of 1 over T ignition is equal to the incident heat flux, come on, I just want a line, there you go, minus the critical heat flux parameter over the thermal response parameter. So we're going to say that in this case we're going to use a 40 a 40 kilo, kilowatts per meter squared incident heat flux. So our QE um, Q double Q dot double prime E is equal to 40 kilowatts per meter squared. So we have these three things are are defined for us. We know what well, material we're going to use, which gets us the CHF and the TRP, and we know what situation the material is going to be in, and that gives us our, our heat flux. So we need to rearrange this equation for T ignition. So we have T ignition is equal to 1 over the incident heat flux minus the critical heat flux over the thermal response parameter squared. And so we can plug in our numbers. This is ignition. <coughs> we have temperature ignition. This is going to 1 over our incident heat flux, 40 kilowatts per meter squared, minus the critical heat flux of 10 kilowatts per meter squared divided by 100, well, my pen's having trouble. Oh, I'm on the edge. So 134 kilowatts per, no, kilowatts second to the one half per meters, meters squared done erase. And then we square all that. So we see all the units cancel out except for the seconds to the one half, and we're squaring that, so we're going to end up with units of second. Always important to check. And if we work this out, we get 19.95 seconds, which is approximately equal to 20 seconds. If you don't want to uh, carry so many significant digits, this is a lot of precision, and we probably can't carry that through this kind of calculation. So I hope you found this useful, and have a good day.